Let's first examine how ledgers work traditionally. You probably have transactions with a bank, either deposits, withdrawals, or paying a third party. All these transactions are recorded in the bank's ledger, which also records transactions that all parties have with the bank. This is a centralized ledger in which the bank is the central authority over the ledger. Such a system can lack transparency and is one single point of vulnerability where hackers can attack. In contrast, a distributed ledger is a database that is shared on a network so that each participant has an identical copy. To maintain the identicalness of all copies, a distributed ledger must have a consensus mechanism to validate new entries into the ledger. This makes the creation of new records immutable, transparent, and accessible to all participants on a near real-time basis. Distributed ledger technology uses cryptography to ensure only authorized network participants can access the data. A blockchain is a distributed ledger that records transactions sequentially into blocks and links these blocks in a chain. Each block has a cryptographically secured hash that links it to the previous block. In order to add a new block to the chain, the consensus mechanism requires some of the computers on the network, known as miners, to solve a cryptographic problem. The solution has to be verified by all the other participants in the network. If the majority of the nodes verify that the solution is correct, the new block is added to the blockchain and all copies of the distributed ledger are updated. Mining requires vast resources of computing power and electricity, so this imposes substantial costs on any attempt to manipulate a blockchain's historical record. In order for a hacker to make a fraudulent transaction on the blockchain, he would need to gain control of a majority of the nodes to gain consensus. For this reason, the more participants there are in the network, the more secure it is as it gets harder for a hacker to gain majority control. Distributed ledgers or blockchains can take the form of permissioned or permissionless networks. In permissioned networks, users have different levels of access. For example, a permission network might allow network participants to add new transactions while giving government regulators permission to view all the transaction history. In permissionless networks, all network participants, not just the regulators, can view all transactions. These networks have no central authority, which gives them the advantage of having no single point of failure. The ledger becomes a permanent record visible to all and its history cannot be altered. This removes the need for trust between the parties to a transaction. Most cryptocurrencies, notably Bitcoin, are based on permissionless networks. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prepnuggets, let us do the hard work for you.